Hey guys, Metal Breakdown. So yeah, I am I'm happy to do this video today because it's finally time to do the top 20 um of the best beat and uh, the best album that were released this year. I will only include metal album and rock album, of course, because yeah, I don't really listen to any other genre of music, so yeah, that's the reason why. Also, I finally have the real setup for my microphone right here. So I hope that the sound quality is better, like, like that. So yeah, I hope that you'll enjoy that. And uh, I decided to uh, split the top twenty in two videos. So that way, if you only have time to listen to one part, you'll be able to just watch the other video later. So yeah, and it will, like, because I don't want to upload a video of like 20 minutes, so yeah, that's the reason, and I hope that you'll enjoy that. So let's fucking start. Um, the album that I put on uh, in the 20th position in my list is Brotherhood of the Snake by the band Testament. You'll see there is four trash metal album on the top to in the top 20 so good job for trash metal in general this year they uh, all classic uh, uh trash metal band released really good uh, album this year i think you know <laughs> which will be the three others but yeah you'll see that later so yeah a really strong album uh which um has some good reason to be in that top 20 uh, other very good album had to be left out of the top 20 uh, to put Brotherhood of the Snake so yeah it deserves its, its place in the 20th position so after that uh, in the 19th position I put Prayers for the Dam by 6 a.m. so yeah this album was really good a good surprise it was better than the album that was released before modern vintage in 2014 if i'm if i remember correctly i'm not too sure so yeah it was better um and also i put um prayers for the blast uh in the hating position uh, yeah, at first I thought that uh, Prayers for the Dam was better, but then I listened to Prayers for the Blast a few times, and this album is very close, so yeah, they're 19 and 18, so really close album in terms of quality, but um, even if there is more soft song, I would say, on Prayers for the Blast, I think that it's a bit better, the first three tracks are just mind-blowing, and even if there's more soft song, the rest is pretty good too. So yeah, a very good album. If you haven't checked any of these two releases by 6AM, you should. Uh, if you only have time for once, I suggest you to uh, listen to Prayers for the Bless. In 17 position, uh, the album by The Amity Affliction. This could be Heartbreak, so yeah, that was probably my favorite release of the month of August. It's a strong album, uh, I listened to it a lot when I, when I was in California in August, so I even did my uh, uh, album review there, if you remember, if you were there in that time, it's been a while, I know. But yeah, there's a really good song in that one. My favorite one has to be uh, Nightmare. So, I'm not even sure if that's the name, but I think it's the third track. Because I don't know if I have only have the, the name Nightmare because of the Evan Sevenfold song, but I think that that is the name of my favorite song on that record. Um, what's the other song? Uh, there was a... Um, a, a software song also that I did the video the reaction video uh, I don't remember the name but it was pretty good too uh, you probably know uh, which song I'm talking about if you listen to that record so yeah so um, in the 16 position 
I decided to put Aggressive by Barethuth. This album, yeah, I'm even wearing the shirt of the band right now. This album could have ranked higher because I listened to it so much, but at the same time, the quality of some songs in that album are not that good in general. It's a really strong album and I really like it. But uh, some songs by the end of the record, I'm thinking about uh, Rock is Dead and yeah, the last three songs, I think, from the aggressive record. Um, yeah, I have it right here King of Anything, Rock is Dead, Find a Way. Uh, these are the songs that are less good, I would say. So, yeah, that's the reason why it's not higher. So, yeah, this album for me is weaker than uh, their first album, Disgusting, but still definitely a very good record that I enjoyed a lot this year. After that, um, we've got in the 15th position the album Bad Omens by the band Bad Omens. Um, yeah, it's it is the first album, it's the debut album by this band. And it's really strong. I listened to it a lot too. I did almost all the reaction and review for the single and did the album review on that channel if you want to check that out. So yeah, it's a strong album. I even saw them like months ago during the, the 10 years in the Black Tour and they're amazing live too. So if you haven't checked that new band, you should. You'll probably like them. After that, on the 14th position, uh, the album Jumps Viking, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, by Amon Amart. Um, this album is just fucking good. I didn't listen to it when it was released because I didn't knew the band that much, but now I know them, and this album is a fucking beast, so you should check it out if you haven't. It's aggressive, and it's just like straight in your face, and... A very good album uh, if you are doing some training it will motivate you a lot after that in 13th position uh, the last stand by Sabaton I didn't knew that band neither before that year but I discovered them with their the single that from the last stand and it's a very good record all the songs on it are very good and listen to that album a lot while studying and yeah it's fucking cool to listen to it, and I always have a great time while doing that. After that, in the 12th position, Magma by Gojira, which is a very strong album. I think that it's a little bit softer than uh, all the albums that they released before, but it's just different and so fucking good. I love, I love it a lot. Maybe with some time it would it would even get higher in my list, but right now it's at number uh, 12. But yeah, maybe that will change in the future, but for now it's that. So yeah, the song Silver, uh, The Cell, Stranded, uh, Lowlands are so fucking good. So yeah, I think I, ne I need to listen to that album more. Because, yeah, it's been a while, but still, <coughs> sorry guys, an amazing record. And in the 11th position, which will be the last uh, album that I will discuss in, the vid in this video, the rest will be in the top 10 in the next video. I hope that you'll watch it too, because, yeah, it took me a lot of time to do, like, this list. I spent literally, like hours because I was not sure of the position I would put the album but so yeah it was really hard for me to do that but I'm finally able to do that and yeah in the 11 position the album the North Corridor by the band Chevelle another band that I didn't know before that year but now I know them and they're just fucking amazing your riff in that album are insane the first track, Doors to Doors, Cannibal, is mind-blowing. I think also I did the album review for that album. And I think it was the first, no, the second album I reviewed on, the ch on this channel. The first one was um, uh, the uh, latest uh, record by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, 
the getaway it's not on that list even if it was good but it didn't made the top 20 so yeah uh, the north corridor is awesome also saw the men at revolution rock festival in connecticut with uh before they because they were playing there before a7x so yeah uh this is it for the um top 20 um place 11 to 20 i hope that you enjoyed that um the part two is coming with the official top 10 so this will be amazing to see i hope that you'll watch it too if you like what i do guys um please subscribe to my channel i'm taking a lot of time to do these videos so yeah i hope that you're enjoying watching my videos you can also um, like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you like. All the links will be in the description. So, yes, yeah, see you later, guys, in the top 10.